Hey, here we are, August the 16th, the day after the attack on the palace at Westminster. Probably, a, probably not a terrorist attack. Okay, who was the guy? The guy was Salim K. Hater, K. H. A. T. E. R. 29, Sudan. Um, he just failed his accounting test. Okay, his father just died. Didn't seem to have any weapons. Uh, they aren't able to tie in with a uh, jihadi group or anything like that. <sighs> he was disoriented when he hit the diversity barriers. Okay. Um, took a long time for him to find out his identity. Everybody's surprised, like everybody's always surprised. I, I think this could be a false flag, meaning that in Colombia they have a drug and they blow it into people's faces, right? Whatever, then you breathe it and, and it's suggestive. You know, let's go to the bank and clean out your uh, savings account. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Whatever. Flash forward. Sirhan, Sirhan. Okay. I think that's a deal with Sirhan Sirhan. Also, disoriented. I don't know anything about it. Uh, you did it. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. But maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. So let's chill. His tag number was FLIO space C W Z. No weapons mentioned. Uh, wouldn't give name. Disoriented. Hit the diversity here. What you don't really hear about, I'm kind of trying to get this thing together, you know, do my little video and everything like that. Okay, the night before, uh, 80 cars, 100 cars damaged or burn up or something, rioting in Sweden, going up the road like 750,000 miles, Stockholm. Okay, well-coordinated attack. Okay. So, um, this whole thing, to me, is setting up like a possible prodding. These are prod small prodding attacks for, I don't want to say ISIS, but whoever the folks are, you know, little, little, I, I'm not a name giver, you know. Um, they're getting ready for their Tet Offensive. Okay, Tet Offensive Vietnam War. Uh, when we thought we had them beat, it's uh, very Taliban-ish. I expect it. You know, and even in the Tet Offensive, when the Viet Cong, North Vietnam was weakened, they were actually strengthened by, um, there's somebody driving by. It's a free country yet. <sighs> Public opinion. Okay. So, all, and then, I want to leave you with value when you look at this stuff. This is a lot of information I've gathered over a long period of time, and I'm able to, you know, get it concise and give it to you in two or three minutes. And that should be an enriching experience for you to get me views and get my ideas or observations maybe out there a little bit of Turkey. Yeah, they're going to, like, break Turkey up. What did Putin and uh, Trump, <laughs> what did they talk about there? When they went in the room, I wouldn't be surprised if it wouldn't be. Turkey, okay, country with a name like Turkey, what are you going to do? Okay, the U.S. has been courting the, um, who are they? Oh, no, I can't remember who they are. Um, that particular group, yeah, that's in Turkey. Um, the only thing they own is the sky, right? They don't have a country. And then they're in Syria and also... Iran and small group in Iraq. Kurds. Hey, that's it. The Kurds. Uh, yeah, they're closer to the action if uh, after Turkey breaks up and the Air Force bases, we close the Air Force bases down, um, <clears throat> moving into uh, Kurdistan, George W. Bush. Not him, but the father, excuse me. Um, 
these are this is the way things are swinging. Um, I'm just trying to create an audience, create value. Um, talk to you later, maybe. Okay. Create value.